Whether you've never heard of a sales engineer before, or maybe you're currently a sales engineer, you've probably run into the issue of having to answer the question, what is a sales engineer? Hi, I'm Tanner Drake, and this is the National Society of Sales Engineers. And today, we're gonna to be diving into what is a sales engineer, AKA solutions engineer, AKA pre-sales consultant, AKA solutions architect, AKA territory manager, or whatever you wanna call it. Despite going by a variety of different names, there's an important common denominator that needs to be addressed when talking about this role, the word sales. The common image that probably comes to mind when you think of a salesperson is the caricature of a used car salesman that'll say whatever they need to say to get you to sign on the line and give them the money. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. But that at its core is not what sales is all about. That's a caricature. Don't be a caricature, Kevin. Never be a caricature. And while there are sales roles like that out there, what sales comes down to at its core is an exchange of value and solving a problem. So that brings us to what sales engineering is. Whereas traditional sales is about aligning a problem with a solution, sales engineering is all about aligning a business problem with a technical solution. Let's take a look at an example that draws a direct comparison to a traditional sales role and a technical sales role in the context of buying a car. When you look to buy a car, you might interact with a traditional salesperson. They learn about what you're looking for and your needs so that they can guide you to make a decision based on the products that they have. They may know some neat details about the cars they have, but ultimately it doesn't require an engineering degree to understand the cars they're selling enough to help you make a decision. On the other hand, let's say that you work for an automotive manufacturer that's putting together a car and you get the transmission from a company that develops automotive transmissions. In a case like this, it isn't as simple as picking a product off a shelf and shipping it. It requires technical details to be worked out before making a decision. A sales engineer from that transmission company would need to understand a lot about engineering concepts involved with implementation and products themselves to align the customer's problem with your solution. A sales engineer needs to be able to effectively communicate with a customer while also having the technical knowledge and business acumen to understand all perspectives of what it takes to solve a problem. And if you can tie together the technical side, the business side, and the communication side of what it takes to be a sales engineer, then what's waiting for you at the end of the road is a lucrative career path that most people have never even been exposed to. So that's a surface level look about what a sales engineer is. And as with any career, you can go down an infinite number of caveats and avenues about what goes into the role, but this is a good place to start. And whether you're a new SE that's looking to get into the field or an experienced one, the key thing to remember is that it's a good time to be a sales engineer.